Good morning. Welcome to another edition of The Seamstress at the Cottage. This is the US edition. As you can hear, my voice is gone. It's actually much better. But as it always happens when I travel, I get the local bug, I get sick from the local bug, I feel horrible from the local bug, and then I get over it. I'm now busy getting over it. I think it's my body's way of adapting to the germs that's different from the previous place. So, as you can imagine, this week was spent mostly in bed. I would get up, I would do a few things, feel sick, go back to bed, and that's basically how I've spent the week. I did do some sewing on my dress, not a lot. Um, the bodice is now at the point where I can actually pin the rest, the skirt parts to it. I'm going to show you quickly. That's the fabric. I don't think you could see it so well last week, but it is beautiful and it's autonomous. And I think I'm going to miss autumn by the rate I'm going with this sewing project, but that's also okay. As you can see, I've made a new plan with my microphone. I've had a complaint that the sound is not great, so let's see if this helps. It's a way that it can actually be close to my mouth, and I hope it helps. The only thing I've really been working on is my jersey. I am now at the place where I am knitting the ribbing at the bottom. And then I only need to knit the sleeves and then it's done. So I actually looked at it and if you put these two together, they work so beautifully. So I think I need to finish the jersey and I need to finish my dress and then I can wear them together to church. Maybe I'll have the energy to do it so I can wear it on Sunday. Last week I chatted to you about the whole thing of spending money on fabric and how I feel guilty about it. And some of you came back with such good advice or good life, I almost want to say life insight. So. I thought I would read you some of the feedback that I got. One was from So Carol 66. She is so awesome. I had the privilege of meeting her when I was in the UK. And I'm going to link everybody underneath in my description box because it's really worth going and checking them out. The people that I've commented here and who have um, channels are just so lovely. And Carol said, and how can you feel guilty about buying pieces of fabric when this is our hobby and we produce useful things? Takeaway meal costs more than a couple of meters of fabric and that's just eaten up. I know which I would rather. Looking forward to hearing more about your US adventures. Thank you, Carol. And then made at Bendwood. She actually had such a good point. She said, um, other people will sometimes comment about how much fabric I have and I get upset by this. I discussed it with my husband and I realized that I'm upset by the physical representation of money I have spent. Whereas many of them have no physical representation of what they spend as it quite literally goes down the toilet. And then she said what they spend it on like perishables and stuff like that. I've properly spent less than them over the years. The only difference things is being I have something to show for it. And then she's go on about speaking of some family members who's commenting on her stuff, but this family member is involved in um, the equestrian trade and how much it costs just for a saddle or for a competition. And how she is not actually saying anything to this person, but this person always have a comment towards her. And I think that's often the case, is that people are quick to comment on our hobbies and what we do, but they don't look at what they do. The next thing was this lovely lady, user EZ9. I'm not going to link her because I see that her profile is private. And she says, I am working on a winter quilt and a tablecloth. Stay safe. Then Bulldog Hustle. <laughs> First thing is you're going to have the light on all the time because I don't know if you remember. But living in South Africa, we often don't have power. And I would sometimes get up between 11 and 2 in the morning to do my sewing because I wouldn't have time any other time because I won't have power. So thank you for that, Bulldog Hustle. And another thing was from Michelle from my so-called Handmade Life. And she said, I agree with your sis about considering the relaxation, creative benefits, and even the community you are making. Your making brings you before feeling guilt about spending on it. 
You also repurpose a lot of things and I've never seen your sewing or making as wasteful. I know that I had that focus on stash busting, but I never felt bad for buying fabric or materials to use. I just noticed there was a period where I no longer was buying to use a so soon, but the impulse buying for other reasons. And I knew that needed to stop. And I thought that was such a good point is that I don't know about you, but I also go through times when I do impulse buying and I figured out that I do that when I feel insecure or not sh not happy or and I really have to reassess myself every time I go into that place. So when I start buying a lot of fabric, I, I actually go into the process of just assessing what is really going on and what's really sitting behind the whole thing. And I thought maybe that's something we can delve into this week is have you ever considered the reasons that you do something and it doesn't need to always you know sometimes we we have to we, we feel like we have to put negative connotations to everything but that's not necessary so maybe it's a good thing why you do something or maybe it's a negative thing why you do certain things i've realized this week that i go into a place of complete silence radio silence with everything and everybody when I don't feel good and I was speaking to my sister today one of the many <laughs> I've got a few and she said I haven't heard from you for a while and I realized that when I get like if I'm sick or when I get overwhelmed I actually go into radio silence because I find it too hard and too overwhelming to talk and so it was just such a good realization like oh I do this I need to be aware of it and I think that's the biggest thing is that thing of self-awareness. Why do you do things? And yes, I'm going to leave you with that. Have you ever thought about why you do certain things? And it might be normal to you, but maybe your family or your friends find it a bit difficult. Do you have anything like that in your life? I would love to hear about that. If you leave a comment and you don't want me to read out your comments, just at the end of the comment say, don't read it out or let me know but thank you for coming along on my sewing journey and on my creative life and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i'll be i'll be more perky and have more things that's done for next week but sometimes we also have to acknowledge that life happens and we are not as productive as we want to be and that's okay you must have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon goodbye I'm learning about the weather in the U.S. And I'm so glad I got these shoes. They're warm and they don't slip. But look what I found. Yesterday I heard a donk. And I didn't come to check because I was in bed sick. And look, this poor bird got killed by flying into the window. I'm still not 100%. But it's nice and warm today. I think it's like 7 degrees Celsius. So I thought I would go for a little walk. Just to get some fresh air. Because I find that always works well to open up your lungs. As long as the air is not too cold, which it isn't. You won't believe it. This driveway was clean four days ago. But the wind has been blowing like crazy. And these trees had leaves last week still. I have been in bed most of the last week, but I can't believe how much it's changed. So, I've done a little bit of a walk, but I'm tired. And I'm going to go home now. But I thought I'd show you a bit of the autumn turning into winter. That's the only sad part about autumn so short. I wish autumn would not be so fleeting because it's literally one of my favorite seasons and I've never had a lot of it because where I lived in South Africa there was not a lot of autumn. So for now I'm enjoying this. It is just so beautiful.